So we're going to synopsize the effect. Wayne, synopsize it. What happens synopsize with this it. trick? Um, so uh, you've got a, a brown paper bag, yeah. uh, which you open up on stage. You place. You uh, normally can a, be seen walking the streets of London with one of them, can't yeah, you? you can, yeah, you can. Well, it all depends <laughs> what kind of clubs you go to. <laughs> but we put. <laughs> you put uh, a, um, a, a bottle of uh, orange juice into uh, the bag. Yeah, Fanta or something yeah, like something that. Yeah, something like that. And then I was trying to unbrand it. But then... <laughs> you put, BBC. You <laughs> other, <laughs> other, other fizzy drinks Listen, are available if you're going to do a job properly, if you're going to do a job, do it properly. Hang on, we've got a bit of tape to put I, over there. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see this? Go for it. See it? Right, you put the orange juice in the bottle, into the bag, yeah. and then you pull out the big bottle of cola. And then you can place that on the table and then you can fold up the bag to show that there's nothing else in it. You can even, you can even show there's nothing else in there as now, well. Now, I've got to say, when I first saw <laughs> this, a bit of a schoolboy error, really. Schoolboy error for such a major magic producer is on the trailer. He's wearing a jacket. Yeah, he is. And his, I, but, yeah. I kind of watched it and you think, just like Sean today, he came on screen, you were like, he's hiding something there. I know you were thinking that. <laughs> it's a, a white dog, there it is. Uh, but uh, yeah, you're watching the video and you're thinking that's where the orange went. Yeah. It's not that big, the bottle of orange, is it? And he kind of puts it in the bag and people, you know, David Stone's had methods which are like reversals of this to produce bottles, you know, Greg Wilson with you his would, brown would paper bag and the streamer yeah. routine. Looking at where it's hidden, yeah. The, the thing is, we're in no doubt, sorry, we're unanimous that this is a well-made game. Oh, yeah, it's and very well-made, very well-made. I, well made. I love the idea that, that we spoke about this morning as yeah, well. Yeah, so the idea we spoke about, we kind of had a little bit of a jam session, spoke about it, was that you have the bag, um, and uh, you put the Fanta inside, mm -hmm. and then you take, you say it's changed to a bottle of Coca-Cola. I know what you're thinking, the orange is still in the bag, and then the Coca-Cola's already gone away. You go into the bag and take out a full glass of orange, and then screw up the bag. Yeah. Or you could even have a different drink. No, there isn't any yeah. orange in the bag inside the bag. Yeah, There's yeah. Ribena. Yeah. Oh, I, I, yeah, I was awesome. suggesting pulling the bag yeah, down. Yeah, you and like the idea of ripping the orange the glass through, through it. Through the yeah. bag so you've got a bit more of a thing, then you throw the bag away. Because mm. unlike other methods, that bag you could even throw it into the audience. Yeah, yeah, you, can, yeah. Does. you can almost rip it open. Which from is the quite front strong. Whatever, yeah. and we, so it's kind of like a sucker trick. Then we kind of said. We were taking it a little bit further, so you do it all on a spider table with a little bit of a cloth over it. <laughs> so you do the bag, and then they get sucker trick number one, sucker trick number two, cloth over the table, there's nothing under the table. Yeah. Can you think of sucker trick number yeah, three? Yeah, number three. Yeah, you're holding on to the cloth that you've whipped off the table in a weird position. You then pull that down and you've got... A zombie gimmick. A, a zombie gimmick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So how they like, what's that bit of thing with a cork? How far can we carry this on? What's next? Yeah. See if you can Come think of another another gimmick to go take it further, one step further from the Wizard Product <laughs> Review Creative Lab. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> how much are you going to give it, Wayne? Oh, 85. 85. 85? Yeah. I'm that's... giving it 90. Exactly 90. Not sure if I'll use it, but I'm glad I've got one, because I might do one day. But not sure, not in a rush. Oh, I think it's a great compare bit. I'm actually going to go out and get one of these now and do it. I love the producing the glass at the end. Well, they're I... just out the back there. No, no, <laughs> yeah, it's 91% from me. 